Info for patient. We identify its landmark first or first facial nerve confirmed with the landmarks. So what should be the approach? I think it's a uh, uh, facial nerve is you want to see it first. Right. But you're likely to see it last. Right. Because the disease is such yeah. that it usually covers that area. And I think the best thing is uh, not to go for it first. Right. First, do a mastoidectomy, identify sigmoid sinus, identify clearly identify the lateral semicircular nerve. If there is one most important landmark in mastoid surgery, I think it's a lateral semicircular nerve. Right. It can lead you to anywhere. It will tell you where the facial nerve is. It tell you the relationship with the ossicles. Um, so if you identify that, I what I usually suggest is that you clear the disease from all other areas and then come into the area of the facial nerve. One should know the anatomical relationship of facial nerve with the lateral semicircular canal. And what I usually teach is that remove the classitoma from the mastoid, clear it. Know you where your facial nerve is, take the bridge down, and then start peeling off classitoma from superior to inferior. As you peel it off from superior to inferior in the attic, automatically your facial nerve comes into you. Right. If you try to look for facial nerve first, it's impossible. So very gently with a cotton pledget or with a uh, frying pan or whatever, once you've identified, cleared the attic, try to peel the fascia, the, the matrix of the cholesteatoma down into the middle ear. Facial nerve is the first thing which uncovers. Right. Do that. Sometimes there is extensive granulations in the facial nerve region and there is a bleeding and the uh, incus is absent. This is a difficult situation. In last, our last best ride, it was a very difficult best ride. So there was no ossicles, it was only granulations, and there was no bony covering. Was so, it clastrotoma? Yeah, it was clastrotoma. So give some tip how to handle this situation. I think granulations are more difficult than clastrotoma itself. Right. which means case an osteitis and if it's involving the facial canal then it's going to be difficult to peel it off. Um, one of the one of the objectives in modifier radical is that we want to clear the disease and we want to reconstruct the cavity right with a graft like you've shown in the tympanic uh, cavity as well as the mastoid air cells uh, mastoid cavity. But that is one situation where if you're not sure that you've cleared the disease completely, then I think one would be reluctant to reconstruct it. Right. 